Good morning adventurers It's August the 13th But at least it's not a Friday It's the first chance I've had to get out in a month uh, Last time I was out here at Sharply Springs They closed the lakes because the water was so warm And apparently it's still very warm And it's taken a long time for the fish to recover But since we've opened Ying's Thai takeaway This is the first chance I've had to get out and do a little bit of fishing and what a miserable day it is it's 16 degrees it's quite warm there are a couple of fish moving but it's thick fog very warm very calm all we can do is give it a try i'm going to start fishing with a bit of a a little buzzer under a pellet kind of fly using that as a clink and dink and we'll uh, we'll see what happens keep you posted Now there's a few fish nymphing and I have had two or three nip the buzzer but they're very very hard to hook a lot of weed about one or two ill looking fish I'm fishing a white a white buzzer with a yellow head about 18 inches below a deer hair indicator nothing looked at the indicator the trouble is there's a blooming duck keeps coming up right underneath where my fly is oh <laughs> there's fish moving everywhere but they're very hard to tempt i've tried a red buzzer i've tried a green buzzer now i've got a white buzzer on i've had more success on the white buzzer were bites, but they're so, so finicky. You would think at some point the fish would take it properly. I'm just keeping it moving very slowly because there's not a lot of breeze to keep it going. That duck over there, he keeps popping up right where my fly is. So the way he's going to pop up next. Doesn't seem to put the fish off, eh? Just frighten the hook a duck. Like it's a town moor. And when the fish are touching this, they're touching it either on the drop or when it's moving. Had one or two little touches when it's been sort of static, but seem to like it to be moving very slowly. But it's not exactly on fire. The bailiff says it's fishing very, very slow. Because of the heat in the water, it's going to take a long time for the fish to recover. I think. But it's still nice to be on the water. Even if I catch nothing. This mist makes it a bit difficult to see the indicator sometimes. I was just about to strike there. I don't know where that went down. Or whether it was just my eyes. Probably my eyes. I'm surprised there's nothing come up once to even look at the deer hair indicator. Normally they have a bit nudge about with it and play with it, but not today. Well, I've tried a buzzer close to the surface under an indicator. I've tried the indicator with uh, a yellow ecstasy worm on. So now I've taken the indicator off and I've got a team of two buzzers, a red one in the middle and a yellow one with a white head on the end. 
and I'm just going to draw them back slowly over where I think these fish might be and see if I can't tempt one that way because they're being very very finny they're just not taking anything well, I'm going to try something a bit different now Oh, plenty fish moving about. I'm going to fish with this deer hair indicator. And then about two foot up, that's on the tip. About two foot up from that, I'm fishing one of these, which was given to me by my friend Tony, which is an emerger with a black foam head. So it just hangs like straight up and down off the dropper. If I can keep a tight line on it, it should uh, stay just subsurface. We'll see if they're taking them or not. Bit of a strange looking thing, but they work, so we'll give that a go. Well, I've come down under the noose now, because Craig just texted and he said a few days ago they were taking anything yellow and slow sinking quite readily on the noose. So, I've got a yellow ecstasy worm on at an arm's length under the indicator and we shall give that a try. Well that worked great. Thank you very much. I don't think it's already big enough. Like. This is on a yellow ecstasy worm. Oh, now he's lighting up this. I don't think he realised he was hooked to start with. <laughs> Come out of there. Fly is out. Yellow eggs to see. White gear poop. Yellow beads, so it's slow sinking. Oh, there's the fishies. Very pretty. Oh, well, it's one down anyway. Go on, it's alright. Goes. Good. <coughs> White buzzer on now. <coughs> Pushing it underneath the deer here. Straight away. Got a take. Not a big one. Big one, but he's a feisty one. Fat one. <laughs> oh, there's a fat one on there. There's a fat one. Very nice. Good morning adventurers, it's the 15th of October 2018, it's 5 degrees, there's a bit of a 
fresh northerly breeze and Craig and I have come up for just a quick four hours at the uh, Sharply Springs Trout Fishery. A nice morning, apparently dry flies been doing well, there's quite a fish, few fish moving about on the surface, so uh, we're going to try daddy long legs as well, yeah we'll go right in front of us here. We're going to try dry daddy long legs and uh, there's a lot of those about in October, see if that works, so we'll keep the video camera running and see what we can catch for you. See you soon. Say morning Craig. Morning. Yeah, scripted that was. Fish rose just as I put the camera on here as well. Craig's into a fish. What's on on the zonka? Lively one, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely jubbly. I bet that water's cold. That's a start. Fish moving about everywhere here, yeah, like there's plenty of fish around. It could be. I hope so. After Tony had 12 on the tinny, I thought I'd try that. Rigs into another fish, and I'm hardly tackled up yet. I'm sure I get a bite while he's landing it. Down your tiddler. Yeah. In the net. Lolly's got a fish on at last. Completely static. A static zonker hedgehog, or whatever it is. Wouldn't have got off in a million years, eh? Oh, yes, son. It's all right. Funny how they swim into the net instead of out of it. Is it? Very good. Mm. The white one and the yellow one on, so I don't know which one it's took. Oh, what a scabby fish! Dear me. That is one ill fish, that. It's all, all its scales and that's raised, eh? Dear me, what a state. On a white one, one of those white, uh, 
What do you call them? Aye. Well, good morning, adventurers. It's Christmas Eve 2018. It's four degrees. It's calm. There's no fish rising. And we're at Nitsley Mill for six hours. There's a few people here. It's the first time I've had a chance to get out in four months. So this is the third of three videos that we've done. And we're hoping it's been fishing quite well we're just hoping to get uh, a few nice fish today before the new year comes in get a new new nice video i'd like to think one of us will catch a double today oh there's a fish just rose out there that's the first one i've seen so we'll keep the camera at the ready and uh, there's a one just splashed right in front of us there look keep the camera at the ready and see if we can uh, get some good footage for you See you soon. Oh, it's off. <laughs> I don't know. Either a little red buzzer. I'm fishing about eight foot deep. Or a little black buzzer. I've got one of each on. But really deep. Seven, eight foot down. Just slow retrieve. But I was just looking up there and I looked back. My bung was about three foot under the water. At last, oh, it looks like a nice fish this creek. Yeah, it's well, aye, it is a nice fish. No doubt about it. Whoops, going your way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, it's off. It was a nice fish that. I saw it. Ah, snapped us. Aye. It's actually, uh, it snapped us at the drop or not. I was trying to stop it going under your line. Aye. It was, it was a nice fish, that. What a... T Damned annoying, that. At last, I've got one. <clears throat> I think it's only a little one. Mm, maybe not. Fighting hard. Well, we are fighting hard. <laughs> it's not having it. <laughs> you doesn't want to give up. Oh, 
That's on a black dog's bollocks of the white head. Yeah, it didn't blank. I had the rod wedge against my hip and I like struck right into it. <laughs> Lolly's got another one. And he's got the video going. But it's only a tiddle other way it's jumping about. Right. It's a stocky, I think. Got a hell of a long lead on you. <clears throat> it's in the net. a long lean one there you go my man no man you're supposed to swim out the net not into the bloody net <laughs> you want to go Yeah, bugger. <laughs> well, it's two o'clock now. We've had two fish each. Craig said he had two, I didn't actually see them. It's really cold though. Now the sun's starting to go down, it's half past two. Craig's away up on the, the damn wall up the end there to give it a go. That guy over there's had none. He's had two or three off that jetty across there. And uh, I've been getting a bit of success with a, a black dog's bollocks buzzer with a white head for some reason. It went off the yellow head and onto the white head. I've been getting a few bites, but uh, they're hard to hit. But it's a lovely, lovely afternoon, but it's really, really cold. The air's real cold. I think that's what's putting the fish down. There's very little movement. But we'll keep trying. I want to catch that big one that snapped me off before. Can I believe that? I was just going to lift off. It took us when I was lifting off. Just see the depth I'm at, look. Great. See the depth I'm at now. Look at this ice. There's ice. It's ripping through the ice, look! <laughs> it's a... Well, that's the first cast after I've deepened it. Bloody hell. I'm not putting a scrap up this. <laughs> it's not a particularly big fish either. Really lines catching the ice everywhere. Oh, this is starting to get icy here, I know. And all this ice on the water here. <laughs> Greg's got one and all. Just put a bit of extra depth on, seeing what depth you're at. Can I believe it? One little fish. Uh, 
<coughs> uh, so I, that's what I've just done. I was fishing about three foot before. Can I believe what difference it makes, can you? Nice fish, Greg. Can I believe the difference a foot makes to the depth, can you? Was that just... Huh? Well, I was fishing deep early on. The trouble is now, my line's starting to freeze in the rings. That'll do, I think. <coughs> I mean that's frozen, frozen solid. It was frozen to the, frozen to the wood. God. Well, people, that's it. It's nearly dark. The line's starting to freeze in the rings. Billy's put the big area on at the top there to try and stop the ice forming, but uh, you can bet your life by tomorrow it'll be frozen. It's been a good day, we've had three each. So we kind of complain really. But it's absolutely perishing cold now. So say bye bye, Merry Christmas, Craig. Bye bye, Merry Christmas, Craig. Thank you. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a good new year. And we'll see you in 2019 on Lull's Fishing Adventures. Bye for now.